it's Nicolaimo, and today's video is going to be about my pets. So I know I already did one about my animals, but that was like my second video, and it was just really bad quality, and I just didn't like how it came out. So I thought I'd redo it, and here I am, and I feel like this video is going to be good. So before I get into the animals, I wanted to ask you guys a quick question. So I was looking in the mirror, and I was looking at my hair, and the style of my hair looked really familiar to me. So I was like, where have I seen this style? So I was thinking, I was thinking, I was like, wait, that's from the Robinson movie. So I looked up the Robinsons, um, it's a Disney cartoon movie, and I looked up Wilbur, which was the little boy, and um, not little, but he was the one of the main characters in the movie, and it almost looked identical to my haircut. So I'm going to show you guys real quick what my hair cut looks like. And I'm going to put a picture up. So I'm going to put the picture up of Wilbur and I'm going to, you know, does it look anything like my haircut, my hairstyle? So, okay, here's a picture. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you think it looks anything like my hair? Um, if you do, leave a comment. If you don't, then, I don't know, leave a comment as well. Uh... Just tell me what you guys think. So yeah, so might as well go on with the video. So these are my two dogs. Um, guys, I already met them, but might as well put them in since they're my pets. Yankee, the Beagle, and Target, the Chihuahua. Um, so a little backstory. Yankee, you guys already know, I already told you, he's one of the sweetest dogs you'll ever meet. But Target, I didn't tell you guys much about. So Target, he looks sweet, right? Um... Looks like the, a cute little dog you would love to just pick up and hold and cuddle with. But that's not Target. Target is a vicious... Okay, I should Okay, he's not vicious. But if you get on his bad side, you're going to just see a whole different side of Target. He is not like this 24-7. Yankee, on the other hand, is like this 24-7. Target, he is not. He is mean, um, but he has his reasons because people get in the, people they get in his face and he doesn't like it, so it's understandable in his case. I I understand it, so yeah. Um, you'll kind of see more Target's personality later, maybe I don't really know, but just know if you ever see Target, kind of keep your distance in the beginning. Yankee, yeah, you can pet and hold and all that, but this with Target. Keep your distance for now. So I'm gonna start with the the gallon or the 55 gallon tank, and I'm gonna talk a little about the fish. So here's the tank. I don't know if you guys can see right behind that filter is a stonefish. I have my two Oscars, the cichlid, and then in that little house cove is the electric catfish. So you can see, it's a pretty big tank, and that's all the fish, there's about five fish in there, not many, but um, I'll tell you a little about it. So, the, um, there's two Oscars, which probably get that, like they stay that big, um, they're aggressive, everything in that tank is aggressive, uh, including the little white fish. Um, He's pretty aggressive. He has to be if he can keep up with the, the other fish, right? So there's those guys. Um, the electric catfish, he is a real electric catfish. He can produce electricity. And that, people always ask me how they produce it. So they produce it, their cells on the side of their bodies that produce electricity. They're special cells that only a few animals get and they they really produce electricity and they obviously use it in defense and to get their food and another thing that they use it for is um something that's called i forgot the word for it but it's almost like sonar which bats use which is um they make a noise and it bounces off objects and it comes back to them and that's how they see where things are around them. Um, electric catfish, they don't use sound. They use their electricity. They produce electricity off their bodies and it, it goes off, bounces off the objects and comes right back to them and that's how they can tell where 
things are around them, let's say in their tank or wherever they're um, at. And that's because they have bad vision. So that's how they, that's what they use to know their surroundings, which I thought was pretty cool. And um, it, it's, it's pretty cool fish. And stonefish, it is, um, I think I read it was the most poisonous fish in the world. Um, so I, yeah, I stay away from that fish as much as possible. And I think it's native to the Nile River. So that's in like Egypt. So if you guys are ever there, which I don't think you guys would, but yeah, just keep your distance from that river because there's pretty crazy things in that river. Um, like the electric cat, I mean, the stonefish isn't from, um, the Nile, the cat, the electric catfishes, and, uh, there's other crazy things in the Nile. The stonefish is actually, a uh, saltwater fish. All my fish tanks are freshwater, so that's why I thought that was, the stonefish is pretty cool, because it's both fresh and salt, which is, some cases, called brackish, when, um, it's both salt and fresh, but this is just fresh, and uh, it can go from either fresh or salt, which I thought was also really cool. If it needs to be, it can be in either, so I thought that was amazing uh, that a fish can do that. Not only can it survive in one, but it can survive in both kinds of waters if it needs to. So yeah, that's about my fish tank, and I thought I would get a little more detailed into it, and now I'm going to show you guys my leopard geckos so I don't know if you can see that little it's a little house right there it's a baseball cap but the leopard geckos in there he might come out when he sees the camera um, and this is for my other leopard gecko so um, both they have decent sight houses and um, Obviously, the one in the this one right here, he is bigger, so he gets a bigger house. But yeah, a um, little thing about them is that they're native to deserts. They're from the the Middle Eastern part of the world, which is Pakistan, Iraq, Iran, um, that part of the world. So it's like almost all desert. So that's where they're native from, so I, I try to uh, mimic that as much as possible with the rocks, the sand, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, that's what I was going for, if you guys can see. I'll show you guys one more time. So, yeah. Anyway, on to the next tank. And this tank is, it's right right there you can see where my fingers point you could that tank it has a wolf fish and you guys already seen all these animals so um i don't really have to act surprised when i say it i don't know i'm doing that um you guys already seen it if you've seen my second video but um yeah that's a wolf fish in that tank um i'll go over there in just a second it's just not the cleanest right now because i haven't cleaned it um since i'm not really scared but it's like it has teeth, and I have to use this stick with a sponge on it. Yeah, so it's, I, I can't put my hand in there at all, because he will attack, like, I, it's not even assuming he'll attack. I know he'll attack. He attacks everything. It's crazy. Um, if you don't believe me, look up videos of them eating. It, it's just crazy. They're really mean, <laughs> aggressive fish. And yeah, it's, it's crazy. And I think that's another fish that's, like, native to the Nile, so... That, I don't know what's going on with the Nile River, like, what the hell's going on there? Why did everything that's freaking crazy come from there? Uh, something's going on there. I don't know. You gotta check it out. So yeah, I'm gonna show you real quick. You can see, right there. So... He is shaped like a tornado in a way, so that really helps him when he goes attacks his prey, or if he needs to get away from something else. So it really helps. Um, and yeah, uh, he gets a lot bigger. He's swimming right now. It's pretty cool. Um, but I just don't want to go back there and show it, because he'll probably just stop swimming as soon as I go back there. You know, 
Yeah, he's already going to stop. Okay, so next animal, you guys can already, I think you guys already know. If you watch my second video, you know what's coming up, which is my hedgehog. So let me just get it. It's in this towel. So I have a few, <laughs> Yankee, I have a few fun facts about the hedgehog. So the hedgehog, it's called a hedgehog, two reasons. It it's known to go in hedges and bushes and just bristle to look for its food, which is insects like crickets and worms and stuff like that, and berries as well. Um, so it, it's known to go in hedges. That's what the first part of the name. And hogs, because the, um, they're known for making those little hiss, not hissing, but like, like oinks and like hog sounds that you would hear from a pig or a hog. And uh, as soon as I picked it up, it made those, I don't know if you could hear that, but it was making it right now. But they, they make those noises kind of to warn off predators because um, it's really defenseless. All, all it has is its little little spines. And uh, that's really all it has. It has about five to 7,000 of those little spiny things. Um, <laughs> needles, I, I don't know what to call them, but yeah, they're hollow, and they don't come off, um, people always ask me, do they come off, do they shoot at you, are they poisonous, and all three questions, do they come off, they do not come off, uh, those are porcupines that you guys are thinking of, they, porcupines, they shoot at you, and they're, I think they're as well as poisonous, but hedgehogs aren't, they don't do any of that, um, they stay right on their body, they're not poisonous, uh, and yeah, so everything that you guys were asking, or those people were all wondering, that's all porcupines. And they do have a cute little face, if you guys can see. It has like a little snout, almost like a hog too. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cute animals. Um, yeah, so they are native to Asia. Um, I think. I don't think anywhere near us, so yeah, um, I don't think, that's why you guys haven't really seen them as much, they're not really native to anywhere near us, but they're, they're cute animals, they're really defenseless though, um, she's starting to open up, they're nocturnal, and um, she's really nervous right now because she's usually sleeping, but yeah, uh, really cute animal, um, really doesn't do much except sleep and it's it's really funny because like she'll sleep the whole day and then when I'm trying to sleep she'll make all these noises and it's it's kind of like, annoying because like that's her party time is at night which happens to be like right when I'm trying to sleep it's like she waits for me to sleep it's like oh he's sleeping time to party and like she'll be in her cage like scratching and like like, like, just making these crazy noises, like, why? Why couldn't you do this when I'm awake? It's like, you have to wait at the exact moment, like, when my eyes are drifting and, like, I'm already half asleep. It's like, boom! I'll make noise. So, it's funny. Um, so, those are my pets, and I kind of got more detailed about these animals in this video. If you guys have any questions about these animals, please leave a comment. And I will, you know, reply as soon as possible. And I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, I always reply. So, yeah, um, please tell me what you guys think. And if you have any cool animals, please tell me what animals you got. Love to hear it. So, other than that, leave a like, leave a comment, obviously. And if you haven't subscribed, click that button right down there. And please subscribe. And if you have subscribed, Please tell your friends about it. Maybe they'll like it. Who knows? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day. And I will catch you next time. Boop, boop.